It is a great pleasure for me to welcome all Water Supply Sanitation Collaborative Council members and the other participants to this global forum. I would particularly like to thank the Government of India and the Government of Maharashtra for their hospitality and for their high level representation at this forum. I'm very sorry not to be able to join you in person. I have been forced by circumstances beyond my control. I had the honor to be asked by His Excellency the President of Tanzania to represent my country at the state funeral being organized for my fallen friend, the late Professor Wangari Masai, on 8th October in Nairobi, Kenya. I know most, if not all of you, know that Wangari is Africa's outstanding daughter the first African woman to win a Nobel Peace Prize for her leadership in saving the environment by organizing poor women to plant trees. She also fought fearlessly to save urban open spaces in Nairobi needed by the poor who live in overcrowded conditions. May God grant her eternal rest and may her legacy guide and inspire us. The theme this morning his session is inspired to act. In my career, I have also been lucky enough to work with many inspiring colleagues. I can only mention a few. The first reference is, in fact, the late Professor Wangari Masai. Ironically, she had been invited by WSCC to speak at this very conference. I'm told that in responding to our invitation, Professor Masai's office wrote, indeed, she had worked with me in the past, and it would have been, it would be a pleasure to see me again. Isn't it one of life's wonders and the twists then that I now have met her for the last time as I paid my last respects in Nairobi where we worked together. Another outstanding and inspiring person I have worked with is the former Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Kofi Annan. Imagine the word without Kofi Annan. That would be a word without the Millennium Development Goals, including the sanitation target that brings all of us here in Mumbai on the first ever global summit on sanitation. However, it is not only luminaries and great personalities that have inspired me. I also worked with many staff who did their work with so much dedication that they sustained me in moments of doubt. I have also met so many slum dwellers in many parts of the world who were unsung heroes and heroines. When I visited them, for example, the slum women of Ghana kept singing, homeless but not hopeless. They insisted they were always busy, busy, busy doing something. Here in Mumbai, on my first visit in 2003, the pavement dwellers gave me a wonderful, beautiful show that I value so much and were on on very special occasions. The love that went into that gift was very inspiring. Those who are willing to share the little they have, imagine what a great difference they will give and make if, to this world if their circumstances improved. It made me work hard. This conference should reflect on this enthusiasm, resilience, and optimism that finally will overcome the kind of challenges that have made sanitation for all a distant dream. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the core WSSCC values is, is we, all, we, gain, we all gain inspiration from each other and from the work. I have been involved with WSSC for a long time this is not the first forum that I have been part of. I was co-chair of the 2004 meeting in Dakar, Senegal. That meeting was a wonderful opportunity for those of us working in water and sanitation and hygiene to really talk about the issues that were most pressing for us. We shared experiences. We talked about what had worked and what had, hadn't worked. We went home enthused to put into practice the things we had learned and discussed. We focused on water and sanitation at that forum. For me then, as head of UN Habitat, the outcome is a 
trend-setting projects to deliver water and sanitation to secondary towns in the fragile but the strategic ecosystems of the developing world. First, the Lake Victoria Water and Sanitation Program in Africa, the source of the Nile, L.V. Watson. Second is the Mekong Delta Water and Sanitation Program for Asia, Met Watson. These now multi-million dollar projects originated from our last meeting in Dakar. Talk about conference productivity. A successful conference is always a watershed for great things to come. Ladies and gentlemen, each of us also went home from Dakar with a substantial stack of business cards, the names and addresses of individuals who were destined to become valuable colleagues, people who we could bounce ideas of, important sources of information and advice. I'm confident that this forum will be just as valuable an experience. I wish you all a productive week here in Mumbai. I know you share with me a firm belief that if we can ensure access to good sanitation and hygiene to all people, including the poorest, the marginalized, the disabled, the elderly, girls, women, and even men, then we will truly be making a difference in people's lives. I hope that this week provides you with plentiful inspiration and that you go home ready for action in your countries, your organizations, and your communities. It cannot be overemphasized that water is life, but sanitation is dignity. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank our hosts and the organizers of this wonderful event. I commend the executive director of WSSC, Dr. John Lane, and his staff for the hard work that has gone into this conference. I salute our financial sponsors. Thank you all for your kind attention.